So the main important thing when you guys get into a problem like this is, again, identifying your AH and your K. So in this case, my A equals 1 third. So therefore, I know the graph is going to cross at 1 third, right? At least, I mean, at least I know the initial graph without doing any other transformations. I could say the graph will cross at 1 third. So what I'll do is if that was my only value, then that's what the graph would look like. It would cross at 1 third or 0 comma 1 third. However, that's not my only transformation. Now I have this up 3, right? So what does the up 3 do? Well, that is going to be representing your k. So that's going to tell you 3 units up, OK? So therefore, basically what I'm going to do is take my graph and now move it up 3. Now, here's an important thing. What also moves up 3? The asymptote. You have to remember there's that asymptote in there. Because I'm going to tell you guys, this is where you're going to get confused, especially when you start doing domain and range. There is an asymptote right here. So if you shift the graph up 3, there's now an asymptote at 3. So if it was originally at y equals 0, now it's at y equals 3. Does that make sense? OK. Then the last thing is this negative x. Now, if you remember, when we multiplied by a negative on the outside, that reflected the graph about the x-axis. So if you're multiplying by a negative on the inside of the function, that's going to reflect about the y-axis. So therefore, my graph is going to look something like this. So it's going to be a reflection. You're basically just taking this green graph and reflecting it about the y-axis. Now let's look at the domain range. The domain, how far does this graph go to the left? As it goes up, it's going to continue to go to the left. So the domain is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. Whereas the range, how low does this graph go? 3. And then how high does it go? Infinity. Okay. Now, there's one thing I want you guys to understand real quick, just at least as far as domain and range go. 